In this video, I'm going to share with you why I wouldn't let Justin Bieber join my worship team. Coming up. Hey, Spencer here from leadingworshipwell.com. This is the place where we talk about how to lead yourself well, lead your church well, and lead worship well. So if you're interested in that, click subscribe down below. And before we get any further, I just want to say I have nothing against Justin Bieber. I just wanted to put an inflammatory title together so that I could get you to click on this video. I am going to be talking about why Justin Bieber wouldn't be on my worship team, but I don't have anything against Justin Bieber. It's nothing personal against him. I want to use this statement as a springboard to just tell you why certain things are important whenever you're considering who to let join your worship team, all right? The worship team is not uh, an entitlement. It's not something that everybody in your church is entitled to participate in, all right? There are specific things that, specific requirements that people must live up to in order to be on the worship team. And I know this sounds like legalistic and I, it's not that, all right? The fact of the matter is whenever you are on stage in front of your church, you are held to different standards than somebody who just sneaks in to the back of your church on Sunday morning, all right? The Bible's very clear about this. Leaders will be judged more harshly because of their role in the church. And because of that, we are held to higher standards. And I don't care if you're just a tambourine player in your worship team, uh, you still need to live up to those requirements, some requirements at least, some expectations, uh, more than just the person who snuck into the back of the church on Sunday. So that's where we're headed in this video. I'm going to use Justin Bieber just as an example. I don't hate Justin Bieber. I understand that he even put out an album that is faith-based. I think Chandler Moore was on it. I didn't listen to it, uh, but I know he's like moving in kind of the right direction. So that's exciting, but I want to hear from you. Would you let Justin Bieber join your worship team? If you disagree with me, let me know down in the comments below and let me know why. If you agree with me that you wouldn't let him join your team, let me know that down in the comments below as well. I'll talk to you in a second. Thanks so much for leaving your answer down below. Now let me share with you why I wouldn't let Justin Bieber join my worship team. So let's start with sort of the main contention that I think we have when we hear this statement. Is like, Justin Bieber sounds like a nice guy, and he, I'm sure he is, I don't know him personally. I don't know him very much at all, actually. Uh, he's an amazing musician. He would, I mean, anybody, any worship leader would be envious to have him join their worship team, right? And here's the point of contention that I have is that musicianship is not the only factor I have when considering if someone should join my worship team. I will repeat that again because it is the basis for this video. Musicianship is not the only factor I consider when somebody wants to join my worship team. It's the most obvious factor that you would consider. If somebody can't sing or play an instrument, then they probably shouldn't be on the musical worship team. But it's not the top priority that I have when somebody joins my worship team, right? Like I could teach somebody an instrument. If they had a heart for leading musical worship, I could teach them how to get better at guitar or how to sing better. But musicality is not my criteria, my main criteria, when somebody wants to join my worship team. So when Justin Bieber wants to join my worship team, which I'm sure he doesn't, but if he did, my first question would not be, hey, like, can you sing this song for me in audition? I know that Justin Bieber can sing, right? And so to take that and apply it to people in our church, our first question when somebody wants to join our worship team should not be, hey, how good of a singer are you? Hey, do you play guitar? I think oftentimes when I've heard that people come up to me and they want to join the worship team or somebody's mom tells them that they should join the worship team, they're like, hey, my son is really, really good at electric guitar. He should probably be on the worship team. And 
my response would be, okay, well, they can fill out an application and uh, we'll see if they're a good fit. But the application doesn't even ask, like, do you know your A minor pentatonic scales, right? No, it, my application is put together where I'm learning about where they're at spiritually. So we're going to talk about that more here in a second, my expectations. But I just wanted to lay the groundwork that Justin Bieber doesn't automatically get a pass to join my worship team just because he's an amazing musician. And neither do any, neither does anyone else in my church. Just because you know how to play an instrument or you sing well, that's part of being on the worship team, but that's not even 75% of it. So that's a very small part of it. All right, number two, why I wouldn't let Justin Bieber join my worship team is because he doesn't regularly attend my church. And I don't mean that in like, Justin Bieber doesn't come to my church, so he wouldn't be on my worship team. I mean that like, even if Justin Bieber came to my church some Sunday morning, we have services at 11, if he came at 10 o'clock and it was like, oh my gosh, Justin Bieber is here. And he came up to me and he's like, Spencer, I've seen your videos on YouTube. I love what you're doing. Uh, can I lead worship with you today? I would say, no. <laughs> like, I, I've never seen you here before. I know who you are. But no, you can't lead worship with me today because I'm not up here just playing a few songs to sound good. Now, honestly, if, I, if I'm being honest with myself, that would be a really hard no to say if that actually happened because selfishly I would be like, man, that would be crazy to have Justin Bieber lead worship with me. But the correct answer would be no because in my worship team expectations. Part of the expectation is that you've been coming to church for at least six months so that you are actually an integrated part into the body of believers here. We don't just let anybody step on stage and lead worship. You, Everybody has the opportunity to get to that point, but just because you want to do something doesn't mean that you automatically get to do it. All right, worship leading is much more of a relational act than it is a musical act. So we have to have a, a relationship with the people that we're leading. And I guess maybe some of the people in my church know Justin Bieber, but not well enough for him to lead them in worship on Sunday. So if you want to be a part of my team, you have to regularly attend my church. And I know that some people don't agree with this. Some people just have random people from outside come and play. I have my reasons for not doing that that I won't go into in this video, but that's not how I do things at my church. Therefore, Justin Bieber would not play on my worship team. And finally, number three, why I wouldn't let Justin Bieber on my worship team? This one's going to sound harsh, but he wouldn't live up, he wouldn't be currently living up to the code of conduct that I have for my worship team. And obviously I'm making a judgment statement here and I could be off, um, but looking at the songs that he sung recently, it would be very hard for me to take that and match it up to my code of conduct that I have for my worship team and be like, yeah, you, you meet this criteria. I don't think Justin Bieber is a horrible person. Uh, I'm just saying that he wouldn't meet that criteria to serve on the worship team in my church. You know, part of my code of conduct is about what you post on social media. I think that could be expanded to the songs that you record, right? And some of Justin Bieber's songs, Despacito, Peaches, right? Like, I don't. I wouldn't want somebody on my worship team posting the lyrics to that song and being like, this is the best song on their Facebook page. I'm not going to have the person who wrote and recorded the song on my worship team. You know, another one is like drug use. I don't think Justin Bieber necessarily uses drugs all the time. I don't know. But, you know, when you're singing about getting your weed in California, and that was last year. Maybe there's some change that's happened since then. 
I wouldn't have somebody like that on my worship team because that puts me in a very awkward space as a leader when somebody in my church would come up to me and be like, doesn't that guy have a song about getting weed in California? <laughs> like, I'd be like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he's up here leading worship with me. Like, it puts you in a very hard spot. And what, once again, this isn't about Justin Bieber. This is for anyone. My point in this video is that we must have expectations for people on our worship team, not to exclude people, but to protect our church. You know, I, I think of it this way. Like, somebody can be a really good speaker, that doesn't mean that they would preach at my church. You know, Jordan Peterson, if you're, I'd just name him because he's popular on YouTube. If you like Jordan Peterson, he's got some good things to say. I'm, I don't think he's a believer in Jesus, so he wouldn't be talking at my church on a Sunday morning because that's not the purpose of the sermon time on Sunday morning is to hear a really good speaker and have somebody share some good thoughts. Or maybe you don't agree with what he says, but... The point is, there is a deeper purpose to being on the worship team, to serving in the church than just the superficial surface things of music. So we have to have the other things in place in order to lead our church well, and we have to protect our church in the process. So there it was, why I wouldn't let Justin Bieber join my worship team. Like I said, I have nothing against Justin Bieber. It's nothing personal. Justin, if you are somehow watching this video, I doubt you are, but if some, by some crazy act of God you are, I would love to have a conversation about you joining my worship team. But for the rest of you who are watching, I just want you to understand this conversation that we need to take our worship team seriously and it's about much more than just musicianship for people who want to join our worship team. Now, along with that, I want to point you to a new training that I've got coming out here in a couple weeks. It's called the Worship Team Growth Plan and in that training, I will teach you everything that you need to know about how to find, develop, and recruit high-capacity worship team volunteers. This is about setting the vision for your worship ministry so that you can grow your worship team and have more people serving alongside you on Sunday, but not just random people, high-capacity worship team volunteers who will be able to lead worship well alongside you. So in that training, we talk about everything from how to develop your current worship team volunteers into high-capacity volunteers. We, talked about, we talk about where to find worship team members. We talk about how to build a system to get those people onto your team. I'm talking like the application process. I'll give you an application that you can use and send to people. We're talking uh, interview process. We're talking about how to say yes and how to say no to people after the audition and interview process. And then of course, how to assimilate them onto your team and make sure that they stay on your team. So if you're interested in growing your worship team, this year, I've got you covered. It's not out yet, but you can sign up for the launch list linked down in the description below to the worship team growth plan, and you can learn how to find, recruit, and develop high-capacity volunteers for your worship team. So check that out in the description below. Other than that, thanks so much for joining me. Until I see you in the next video, keep leading worship well.